is the cemetery of the Scottish settlers. This is the Knox Presbyterian. Just here? Yes, just here. There's about 90 to 100 people were buried here between about 1857 and 1900. And a big percentage of those would be Scottish. But there were quite a few English people who lived locally, one from Northern Ireland, one of English extraction who was born in India. But probably about 70% would be Scottish born. So this memorial is all that's left of the cemetery. The city council had opened up a public cemetery at Titer and the churches were told to close their cemeteries. Yeah, quite right. And it's supposed to have, well, it's meant to have all the names on it. In addition to the names on that memorial stone, I've identified at least 11 other people who have been buried there because of the obituaries in the papers at the time, saying that these people would be buried at the Scotch burial ground in the hut. Warwick thinks there are buried headstones here. Well, Michael John, it's certainly possible. We even have this photo here that might suggest that there's some buried in this vicinity. About 1949, a decision was made to take down the remaining gravestones, put them under the underground, presumably close to where the actual burial took place, because it was difficult to keep it tidy. I suspect a lot of the gravestones were quite damaged and probably on a bit of an angle. And I have a photo. Ah. The Evening Post of the 17th of February, 1886, reported the marriage of Mary to David Thompson. But 10 months later, again in the Evening Post, we have her funeral notice. Oh dear. She and at least seven other members of her family are buried somewhere here. There was a lot of intermarriage between the families. Oh, they also married into some of the other families, but there's a obviously a very strong connection even though they came from several different parts of Scotland.